Welcome to sketch spray painting, crafting and do it yourself art. What's up my great and awesome YouTubers, great thanks to all of you who watch my videos and support my channel on each way or another, especially great thanks to all of you who are supporting my channel by purchasing some of my art through my web store, for all of you who are interested in some of my art and my merchandise, check down below in the description box, I'll put the link where you can find them. Also great 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 thanks to all of you who are liking and sharing my videos and leaving awesome and supportive comments on my previous videos. For all of you who are first time here on this channel and didn't watch them before, check some of them here, I'll put them in the cards. You guys, I'm getting a lot of questions, do I make my own stencils, how I cut them, what materials I'm using for stencils and things like that. Even if I already made a video how to make stencil for spray paint art, I'm getting these questions over and over and over again. <laughs> New people actually for anything, I'm just using it for spray paint art. So I'm gonna show you how to make stencil for spray paint art. So if you are on my channel just because of spray paintings and you are not interested in stuff like this, like stencils, just be free to skip today's video, in few days I'll upload a new spray painting video. Two days ago I have spray paint Venom from new Marvel movie and in that video I promised you that I will show you how I made stencil for Venom. Ok, first of all I draw a sketch with pencil on the same paper that I'm using for spray painting. And here's a video what paper I'm using for spray painting. I'm using rubber pads so razor knife can stay sharper longer and can penetrate through stencil. If you don't have rubber pad you can use soft wood or hard cardboard. I'm also using razor knife with 30 degree angle for easier, faster and precision cutting. And if you don't have 30 degree angle razor knife, just normal razor knife will do same work. And when your razor knife is not that sharp anymore, all you need just to snap one segment and there you go, you have again sharp knife.
and as you can see I'm not cutting 100% on the same lines that I draw but that's okay it's totally up to you how you're gonna change your stencil As you can see this Venom stencil is pretty complicated and have a lot of small details so it took me about one hour to cut all these details. And now we have finished stencil, I'm pretty happy how it turned and here's a segment from my previous video how I use it. Anyway guys, I hope you like this video, I hope you enjoy it, I hope you find it useful. If you have some questions, let me know down below in the comments. And for all of you who are first time here on this channel and not subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button for more future videos like this. Stay awesome, I love you all and see you next spray paint video.